This right here is the iPhone 11 Pro. Released in 2019, it is one of the best iPhones Apple has ever created. And today, I'm not talking about the phone. That'll come in a later review, once I've had time to adjust to using the phone. Today's video, I am discussing the cameras, which are one of the most significant upgrades you will see on this phone. And specifically, why ultra-wide is better to have on a smartphone than telephoto. Okay, let's be honest here, okay? For one, this phone is probably one of the best out there in the line of tech. You have your, you know, 2X telephoto lens, your 0.5X ultra-wide, and you have your regular 1X camera. All three of these cameras are 12 megapixels. All three of these cameras have natural bokeh. High dynamic range, or HDR, is a massive feature on this phone. So what really makes me think that the telephone lens isn't as important anymore? What makes me think that? Because this lens right here, this lens isn't as necessary anymore, I don't feel. I do not feel that we need the telephone lens. Computationally, you can create what is essentially a telephone lens. The Google Pixel series has done this in the past. Where they cannot computationally do things is in the ultra wide lens. And I've been using the ultra wide lens for a couple of hours now. And ever since I switched to the phone it was pretty much one of the first things I did I went outside out to town outside the house for the first time in months and I took a bunch of photos these photos have significant dynamic range the time lapses I took were fantastic they were sharp they were easy to take on the smartphone and when I paired it with my DJI Osmo Mobile 3 you have a killer combination there and you want to know it's even better the camera bulb bump it is essentially non-existent on the smartphone which is really really difficult to do it is really difficult to have such a good camera in the space of a camera bump that is non-existent now back to the ultra wide more features i like about it. i like how you can manually change it. Uh, the aperture i like how you can manually change the exposure the frame rates all that within the camera app the camera is significantly improved on the iPhone 11 Pro. And that's why I think that this is probably the best iPhone camera out there. And my telephone, it's computational stuff, you know? You can really get away with not having a telephone nowadays. Sure, it looks better, but there's a reason they're getting rid of telephone lenses on a lot of entry-level smartphones. You can computationally sharpen up the photos, you can computationally crop into the photos. But to really take advantage of things, you need the ultra wide lens, and that is why I think the ultra wide is more important. And Apple did a good move by just including the ultra wide and the main shooter with the iPhone 12. And thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out the link in the video description to check out the Discord, as always linked it there, so you can continue on the discussion or comment down below. My name is Connor, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.